Yesterday, while on the road, I see a sign that reads, your speed will be monitored through all the road. This caught me thinking about how their infrastructure can handle this amount of cars with multiple cameras. As you may know, to monitor the car speed on the road, we need to set up some points and, and record the timestamps of the car passing each point. Then we can calculate the speed of the cars by dividing the distance and the travel time of the cars between the each point. It will give us the speed. But they must to calculate this formula for thousands of cars with um, too much cameras in a minute. And I think it's not optimized. I have an easy idea to make and optimize this solution for even millions of cars with a simple Laravel application that utilizes cache feature. Before moving, I will appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. On my channel, I will talk about software engineering and Laravel PHP and videos. I will be happy if you subscribe to the channel. Let's move. We have talked about the cache previously in two videos. One about how to use the cache in Laravel and second about the practice of using and storing cache keys and naming it. In this video, we want to optimize the scenario and uh, support even millions of cars to pass through our uh, cameras. So, uh, we need to do with time and play with time. So, I cannot uh, just uh, test this application through a uh, web browser. We need to write tests. So, I will start here to write a TDD uh, scenario to solve this problem. So, first, we need a controller, say artisan, uh, make controller, uh, car path controller. It should be invocable. Also, make test for me. Okay, as you can see, our test is here, and this is my controller. So let's register the roads API. Get car pass and its car pass controller class name it car pass okay uh, we need to just uh, set up a road get road controller and uh, get uh, the camera id of uh, and the car tag uh, to know which car passes through which camera so here I just need two parameter. First one is the camera camera ID, and second one is our tag. Okay, and on the controller, we need to have the integer car ID, camera ID, and a string of car tag. Okay, so let's just make the first test. Uh, test, we can store car test. Car can pass through, car can pass from the camera. Uh, or it's better to, uh, so, uh, we need to API card pass and for the parameters I need to define the camera ID equal to one and a card tag equal to just a random string doesn't matter uh, camera ID and the card tag Okay, also here we can use the faker, even if you want. So just let's uh, say artisan test, this filter. Okay, I think the problem is about here, must to put it on array. And okay, our test is done for, the, for now. So 
uh, now let's just store uh, the car passes from the camera in our the cache and let's talk about the what's how can we solve that problem with cache so uh, store car pass so I just need this this in here and how we want to calculate this imagine uh, we have two camera camera one and camera two and the distance between this camera is uh, about 20 kilometer uh, 12 kilometer yes uh, 12 kilometer could make a better number for us and the maximum uh, speed of uh, between these uh, two camera is 120 kilometer per hour uh, so uh, I must do make here this stance is about 12 kilometer and max speed is about 120 kilometer per hour and uh, the time that uh, takes to go through 12 kilometer uh, with 120 kilometer is about six Second, six six minutes I think uh, we can use it by calculating by like this that uh, about the time is six minutes how we can uh, calculate this uh, note uh, we have 20 kilometers distance uh, divided by 120 the maximum speed and uh, 16 is uh, minutes per hour we have 60 minutes 16 minutes per hour uh, and we must do multiply by this time and it takes about six minutes to go through camera one to camera two so if we have any car to reach camera one to camera two in more than in less than six minutes we must do penalty it and we must do give him a warning so now i just want to uh, have a cache have a time it cache and check that cache. so let's see how i want to do it so uh, in here i want to the, for testing the cache things I want to have a protected function. Uh, it's set up. Set up. Uh, this is a PHP unit function which will run uh, each time our car pass controller runs. Uh, so I want to. Use the facade cache and flush everything before running any tests. So, uh, also, I must do run the parent setup. Okay. Uh, don't remember, it should be void. Prevent error. So, I can use the cache here. I want to check uh, that a key should be persist after the car pass from any camera so uh, how my key should be like uh, i'm using a sprintf and my key should be car car pass and we need a d means integer of the camera id and uh, an a string of the car tag so I must do pass the camera ID and car tag here. So this is will be our key. But uh, we don't want to store the uh, key lock here, as we say talked in previous video. So I will cut this and go through a cache config here. So I will make the keys here. Car as it should be a string okay it should be like this and i can use config uh cache 
or dash keys or pass. Okay, it should be work. So uh, here, just should I check assert true that our cache has this key. Okay, now it will fails. And here I must do store car passes, camera ID and car tag. Okay, here I want to key. I need to copy this in there to have the same key. And about the cache, I will use the here and set uh, the key. Our value is not important. We can put it one or even our the time. Time is better for now. And about the TTL, uh, here we have six minutes. So we want to six minutes multiplied by 16 means it should be converted to seconds. So if you run the test, it's fine. So for next step, let's catch the over speed cars. So how it should be? Uh, I want to just uh, put something in response to say that your car is a penalty or not. So I will return uh, a good car and also I need the bad car. So the good car is for people who are running their cars with good speed and the bad car with the car with over speed. People are running car with over speed. So a uh, function test. Uh, it can means it should do with uh, good cars. Okay, and this good and for these good cars, we need to set this off. We can travel through the time here, so our car will be go through the ca first camera and for the next camera we say it should be six minutes so I will travel the time with carbon I think we have it's better carbon uh, okay the syntax has been changed you can check this on the Laravel mocking uh, and this travel, this travel, okay, and travel, I need to travel seven seconds in minutes. So then I want to go through the camera two uh, with this car and uh, for the response, assert. String container string the the good and also instead of this we must to use the response here and this okay let's in our some test okay, the error is about the assertion uh, instead of this we must do assert content and uh, good car let's see it pass so uh, we can have the good cars here so about the bad cars test it, it can catch bad cars. Okay, 
In first one, it should be good cards, and if the card through this scenario with five minutes, it should be bad card here. So uh, to make this, we need another function, and uh, these two functions should be private. Also, it's better to move these functions to an action or a service instead of putting this on the controller. It's just a showcase. Do not repeat this showcase in your production. So, uh, catch the add cards. So, uh, and camera ID and a string. Screen card tag. Okay, uh, it should be. It should return a string, and we will return this string. This catch the bad cards, camera ID, and the card tags. Okay, in this here, we must check that is this cache persist or not. We just need to check that uh, the cache is still persist or not. So we need the previous camera ID. So in here, I just will uh, decrease camera ID by one. And for key, I will copy this here. Uh, instead of camera ID, I need the previous camera ID. Uh, and I must do check a return the cache has the key or not. If the cache has the key, so this car is bad car. And if it does not have the cache this key, uh, this is a good car. So we can return this and run our tests. So it runs and everything is fine. Uh, it's a very little functionality we can even use the jobs and dispatch something if uh, the car is bad car and making penalty or anything else uh, it just it was just a showcase to see how we can solve uh, the complex problems with cache and a third party service like redis or cache here and it will uh, increase our speed and uh, decrease our infrastructure cost so nice to see you and please subscribe to the channel and share this video to your friends if you like this thank you for watching goodbye